What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'll be taking out the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, and right now I'm in Disney's Alani, which is a beautiful resort, but I don't want to be staying here the entire time. I want to go explore the North Shore today, so what I'm going to do is take this phone along with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm going to give you some side-by-side -side comparisons to see which camera that you like best. This is going to be a fun one. Let's do it. First thing that we had to do is to get garlic shrimp. So there's so many different garlic shrimp choices out here. The first one I had was Big Wave, which is my favorite. But uh, of course, we had to stand in line for Giovanni's. There's always a ridiculous line here every time. Probably the most commercialized garlic shrimp here, but you know, my wife over here, she loves it. So it's for a reason. Actually, this is way better. She says that it's uh, one of the best here, and uh, we'll determine if it is or not. That's pretty good. After Shave Ice, I had to come down to Halewa Beach over here just to take a look. I've never been out here before, and there's a lot of people having fun on the bridge and enjoying a lot of water. Of course you would because you're in Hawaii. But the one thing that I did notice about the Xperia 1 Mark IV is that it's overheated on me like four or five times today. Just recording video, taking pictures, literally just shut down. So hopefully they can fix this in a software update because I had to wait until it cooled down before I could actually take more videos. So. It's one of those things. Oh my goodness, look at this one. We were driving home or driving back to Aulani and uh, we just saw the Leonard's hot malasadas truck. Yep, so we had to stop and Holly's jumped out to get some. Leonard's. Oh yeah, yo, these malasadas are ridiculous. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>
before we continue, let me interject on why that the stabilization didn't look as good on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, and that's because wide dynamic range was on. So if you have that feature on, then you don't get stabilization at all, which is super weird. I don't know why, but it is the way it is. So here is an example of stabilization between the three cameras with wide dynamic range off, and you can see that it's a much different story. But I hope that they fix this in a software update because we really need that wide dynamic range with stabilization so that day on North Shore ended abruptly because if you have kids then you know sometimes things just don't go as planned so we just ended up coming back here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video here at Disney Zolani this is our last day here so I want to show you some low light samples between the three cameras we ended up doing the luau which was really cool so here are some cool samples between these three cameras let me know which one did better and if you like the style of video to let me know. Let's go on to the low light samples. guys that about does it for me I'm going back upstairs getting ready to go into Honolulu let me know if you want to see more videos on these three cameras right here and let me know which one did better and I'll see you guys in the next one